Its fame comes from geometry, not from brilliance. Earth spins around an axis, an imaginary line running from the geographic South Pole to the geographic North Pole. If you extend that line far into space, it pierces the celestial sphere, the mental dome on which we imagine the stars to sit. The point where the axis meets that dome in the north is called the North Celestial Pole. The North Star happens by coincidence to lie very close to that point. Because of that alignment, as Earth rotates, most stars trace long circles across the sky, but this one hardly moves at all. For someone in the northern hemisphere, it marks true north to within about a degree. Sailors and travelers used its height above the horizon to estimate their latitude. So, even though its light is not exceptional to your eyes, its fixed position made it exceptionally useful, which starts to answer why we care about it so much. But why does the sky mislead us so badly about which stars are truly powerful? The main reason is the way light spreads. As light travels outward from a star, it spreads over larger and larger spheres. If you stand twice as far away, the same total light is now smeared over four times the area. So any one patch, like your eye, receives only a quarter as much. This is known as the inverse square behavior of light, and it follows directly from simple geometry of spheres.